In this video, we're going to pit Verizon's LTE 4G speeds against Comcast's home internet speeds. Now, in my previous video, I actually did Comcast on my wireless router, my Linksys Wireless N router. And in this video, we're actually going to have the laptop here connected with a wired ethernet cord here, as you see, straight to my modem. So we're not doing wireless this time, we're doing wired versus Verizon, and we're going to see if the speed test is any different. Now, as is customary in all of my videos, I'm going to do three speed tests and take an average. And we're going to do them both on the same server, and I'm going to try and initiate this at the same time on both devices here. Okay, Verizon's finished first, followed quickly by Comcast over here. Now, it's pretty similar to the test that we had when it was wireless, which is interesting, which shows that my router is very fast. Over here on Verizon, we had a download speed of 16.45 megabits per second. Now, as you can see, the orientation on this is, is in a portrait orientation, but in order for this video so you could actually see it, that I could actually stand it up next to my uh, laptop here, I have it in its stand. So I'll just read you off the information here. Like I said, 16.45 megabits per second on the download here, and 17.03 megabits per second over on Comcast over there. So the difference is about 0.5 megabits per second, the edge goes to Comcast. Now the upload speeds, it's a different story. Over here on Verizon, you have 6.50 megabits per second on the upload. And over here for Comcast, you have 3.38 megabits per second for the upload. So again, about twice as fast over here on Verizon as it is on Comcast, even though I'm using a wired connection here, which is interesting. Like I said before, we do three speed tests here. So let's do speed test number two. Okay, the result this time is a little bit different. Over here with Verizon, the download speeds were faster. It's 17.13 megabits per second. Over here with Comcast, it's 17.08 megabits per second. So by a hair, you have faster speeds over here on Verizon's 4G LTE. And again, the upload speeds, same story. You have 6.25 megabits per second over here, and the upload on Comcast is 3.34 megabits per second. And you have, again, about twice as fast over here for your upload speeds. Let's do speed test number three and then get the average. Okay, in our final test, Verizon wins again. You have a download speed of 18.43 megabits per second. Over here on Comcast, you have 15.79 megabits per second. So about a little less than three, about two and a half megabits per second faster over here with Verizon. The upload speeds, again, the same story, 6.61 megabits per second on the upload. Over here with Comcast, 3.34 megabits per second. So again, about twice as fast with Verizon. So you're definitely getting very fast speeds with Verizon 4G LTE. The only drawback, as I mentioned in my previous video, is that this, the price on Verizon's 4G LTE is much more expensive than you would pay with Comcast. On Comcast, I think I average out about 50 bucks a month and I get a cap of 250 gigabytes, which I never hit, even though I upload a lot of YouTube videos. And over here on Verizon, I have a cap of one gigabyte for $20 a month. So I could go to a next tier on that, but never would I get the bang for my buck as I do with Comcast over here. So the value definitely goes to Comcast, but the, the story here is that you can get the same speeds or better over here with Verizon LTE 4G, which to me really says that Verizon 4G LTE is the best wireless that you can get on your mobile phone which again, as I have expressed in previous videos, makes me consider getting out of my AT&T contract because with speeds that you get on your home network or greater, it's really nice to have that in the palm of your hand. So that's definitely something to think about. 
So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I'll see you guys next time.